Hey, R31 guys, it's Eric. Bright and early this morning, uh, up with the Lord. Actually got woken up, a lot on my mind, a lot of stuff with work, ministry, you know, family, all this stuff. I'm sure you guys can relate when you get woken up and your mind's going 10 million different directions. Um, but I just got and got up and I'm spending some time with the Lord here and wanted to do the video early because, you know, a couple things on my heart, you know, it's just like, um, you know, it, there's a lot of things that can kind of race through our mind and we try to figure it out on our own. But one thing I've learned is just to give it to God and, and pray on it and let God give you the answer. Let God guide your decisions, you know, so it's kind of what Proverbs 16, 3 says today, commit your works to the Lord and your plans will be established. Um, you know, I think one of the things I did a couple of years ago really kind of brought this home is like, I used to just have God be part in diff certain parts of my life. And, um, I would, I'm going to manage these parts, God, but you can help me manage these parts. And now I've learned to have him help me manage everything. I remember it was a few years ago. I was kind of just stuck with my workouts. I was in kind of a rut, you know, doing a lot of the same things over and over again, maybe a little bit different, but needed a, a refresher. And I, and I committed that to the Lord. I had a couple of things I was looking at, a couple of different, um, trainers that I liked that I was going to follow. And, you know, which one should I follow to get some new ideas and some refreshing things for my my workouts and just help me, not just my workouts, when my workouts get refreshed, so do my clients. So I remember praying about this and um, getting led down the path to go to this one trainer, Jeff Cavallari, who does Athlean X. And uh, I, I, I really liked his programs. And I got into his programs and started doing them and started modifying them to work with my clients on them. Now, they were great programs, especially for middle-aged guys like me and middle-aged women and uh, clients loved them. It was just a, it was a real blessing to everybody. Got a lot of blessing out of that. And had I had just tried to think my way through it, that never would have happened. So it was just a quick example of committing yourself, committing your works to the Lord and my works. And that was my, my own workout and the fitness. And I know that when that, when I do that, in my field, when I'm when I'm working on my own fitness, well, it, it translates over into better training for my clients. So it's just a quick example there. Um, and the other one I liked is in Colossians today. It's uh, three uh, Colossians three twenty three, and um, it says, "Whatever you do, do your work hard." Let's sorry, do your work hardy as as for the Lord rather than men. Sorry, I'm trying to. Get my eyes to adjust here. Uh, so whatever you do, do your work hardy as for Lord rather than men. Um, you know, it's like everything we do, we should act like the Lord's his he is. We're doing it for God, not for other people and not for ourselves. Um, that prevents half-assitis, you know, like when we start to half-ass things. And I know in the past, you know, as I've grown deeper in my faith, it's like I've learned if I'm doing this for God, I'm not going to half-ass it. I'm going to do an excellent job at it, whether it's cleaning up the kitchen, whether it's, um, you know, programming or managing one of my clients, whether it's, um, my own workouts, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, just even being present with uh, my wife or my friends or whoever the, the person I'm with is not being checked out. Um, you know, and sometimes I'm obviously, you know, there's a lot of distractions in life, but I'm always trying to give a, a good effort in everything I do. And this passage always resonates with me because, you know, everything matters to God. This is one, uh, another guy that had spoken to some of my groups said, you know, everything's important to God. And when you think about that, that really kind of changes the way you, you do your life. And I know I mentioned this before, but like even how I park, you know, if I park and I'm over the white line, you know, in the past, I said, eh, it's good enough. You know, that famous good enough, which is like one of the worst phrases ever versus if I'm not parked right. And I'm thinking about what if somebody comes in here and they don't have any room to park and I'll get out and move my car and center it up. Or if there's like garbage on the ground, the gym I go to in Burnsville, there was garbage on the ground yesterday. And I used to just like, ah, oh, somebody else can take care of it. It's not my problem versus, you know what? I'll, I'll hear the Lord say, you know what? Pick that up. Make that place look a little bit better. Um, you know, just that extra level of excellence, not because you're trying to look good, but because you really do put that in your heart that you're working for God, not for men. And you're, and you're a representative and an ambassador to him. And you always want to make him look good, whether there's people around or not, it's a heart thing. So, so whatever you do today, guys, whether it's, it's the honey do list, whether it's your workout, 
whether it's uh, being there at your kid's game, whatever you do, do it as though you're working for the Lord. Act like the Lord's your boss. You know, he is your boss. He should be your boss. And you want to do a good job and, um, and you know, get a good employee review, I guess, when we get to heaven. I guess we could look at it that way. But that's my word for the day. I uh, hope you guys have a blessed weekend. Um, I'm checking the sheets. I'm filling out the sheets. I think a couple guys are going to get caught up. But um, remember, it's this. It's not about being perfect. It's about progress. I want you guys at the end of this month to feel like there's some real growth in the mind, body, spirit areas. And, and we clean some things up. I know I have, too. I know my biggest challenge has been... I realize is the scrolling, the social media. I really am tempted to do that, but it, this whole thing has given me pause to not do that and to get off that crap and to put my mind in more reading and more uh, fruitful things. So talk to you guys later.